In the next story, Colm is off to Dublin to meet a couple who more than 20 years ago started to create a garden on the side of a mountain, which turned into something spectacular. Ardan Gardens in Hoth. The one thing they say about gardening is, once you've been bitten by the gardening bug, it has you. And this is so true of one couple that got bitten by the bug way back in early 2003, when they bought a plot of land on the side of a hill in Hoth. So I've come across the Bay of Dublin to see two gardeners, Nuala and Conal O'Queeve. 20 years on from starting their garden, they've managed to create an oasis that gardeners from all over Ireland would be proud of. But the garden wasn't always this way. It started very differently. Were you avid gardeners when you started here? Well, previously we lived in Kildare where we had a garden, but we weren't especially good gardeners. So I took to the plant books and Connell took to the design books and we learned it together. It just happened for us as a hobby and we got the bug. And when we came to Hoth, uh, we knew a bit, but we were still amateurs. So what was the garden like when you started? It was absolutely a field. Indeed, my, my dad, who's a curry man, said, that's not field, that's mountain because it was gorse, bracken, brambles. So we had to dig all those out. We had to start right from scratch. So very early on, we terraced the garden. The, the main tool we were using at that period was the wheelbarrow, yeah, moving soil continuously. You must have had some determination to turn a quarry into a garden. Well, we knew that if we didn't get progress quickly and get it planted, that it would revert to mountain again. So in the first few years, it absolutely was a race to get our footprint onto the garden. The garden here in Ardan is recognised by the Royal Horticulture Society of Ireland and it features as one of the 14 best private gardens in the Dublin region as part of the Dublin Garden Trail and it's going from strength to strength. So what was the concept behind the development of this garden? We wanted that as you move through the garden, that the mood would change. So different kind of plants evoke a different mood. So people come into the abundant herbaceous flowers and then from there you go into the white and you're washed to the white. You go down, there's a lavishness of the exotic planting and then the calm of the woodland. And it's that sequence of change of mood that we're trying to play with as we design the garden. So how do you get each individual space to evoke a different reaction to the garden visitor? Well, the ch type of planting that's used and the, the sculpture and chairs and other artefacts through the garden, they all join together to create a mood in that space. And we know as people, we see it, as visitors move through the garden, they arrive down in the trees and you just hear a little, ah, you hear the calm that they're experiencing. And then we know our design has worked. So when you're looking for new plants for the garden, do you grow them yourselves or how do you source them? Well, when we started out uh, with a garden, we bought all our plants uh, in garden centres. Um, but as we became more experienced, we uh, grew more and propagated more. And that enables you to bring new varieties that you might not necessarily see in other gardens. Absolutely. And we're always, as plantaholics, seeking to have the most special of plants and the most unusual of plants. <music> When you look around the garden, it's hard not to notice the distinct influences of both Nuala and Connell. Due to the varied nature of the garden here in Ardan, it has created a unique habitat for a wide range of creatures. And as a result, it's been recognised as a partner garden of the UNESCO Dublin Bay Biosphere. It's been quite a journey for this pair of amateur gardeners who started nearly 20 years ago. So the garden here, it's always changing. It's great to come back every time and see it be reimagined and for you to share that with the public, it's such a nice gift to give back. Yeah, absolutely, it is always changing. We're, we're always adjusting things. And so we, we welcome visitors and we find we learn from them. An expert on some particular plant will come in and we, we'll jot, we'll chat about it to reinforce that learning with each other. But we also know we've so much more learning to do. It's not that you, you, you somebody qualifies and then is done. It's a lifelong learning. There's always new plants, there's new conditions. There's all sorts of ways that we're, we're learning and expanding and growing as gardeners. And we hope that will continue. <laughs>